right guys welcome back now this part edit i don't know clip you want to call it it's either going to go at the end of the miata build process or this is just going to be a completely new video of me just basically be like hey car's done we're not done but it's as far as i felt like it should be for the time being because i know that all the other stuff that i got with it it's gonna take a lot longer i guess the video to drop to show you guys so i wanted to just get out there before so instead of waiting a whole bunch of time for a whole reveal let's just go ahead and do it today or right now i guess but basically, so my 93 Miata, as you guys know, is wide body. It was on coilovers, extremely stiff coils, and it was painted in my garage by my friend Jacob. And now, um, I recently did an air spend and set up for my boy Whitley, and um, instead of him paying me to do it, he gave me a trade. He gave me his old air suspension as well as old camber arm. So if you guys can kind of see where we're going with this, the Miata is now bagged. And she's right behind me. So let's go. So now this is my fresh, new, wide body bag, 93 Mazda Miata. So as you guys can see, it got new halos up front. I do got the RGB halos now. So I do have them on a blue setting to match the paint. And those still are just the regular white. I don't keep them on at the same time anymore because now one's blue, one's white, or whatever color I decide to make it. Also went ahead and got underglow. And you guys can also tell we do have side skirts on the car now. And you guys can also see we are now bagged. Yes, I'm missing a lot of my fender. You know, as you can see where it airs out, you can kind of see how that happens. But yeah, so I believe we're running around negative 12 degrees of camber in the front. I believe negative 15 or negative 12 in the rear, negative 15 in the front. You guys can probably obviously see that from this angle. Pretty gnarly. So don't judge me on all my panel gaps, filming gaps, because that's all gonna get fixed at some point. I'm just very lazy when it comes to stuff like that. So yes. The custom camera arms in the front. Let's see if I can go ahead and put the camera in there and show you guys. There's the custom camera arms, or low charge, you're gonna call them, and tie rod ends. They are extended, because obviously you need to extend them to be able to do that. A little tilty boy. Oh yeah, went ahead and got this banner put on as well. Me and my, me and my boy Austin installed that. I think interior is fairly the same from what you guys have actually seen on the car. Did the new steering wheel, new shift knob, new shift boot. I said that wrong new e-brake boot and then my custom gauge panel setup for the bags so this goes manual setup so that's front bags rear bags the pressure it's in all the bags my little cigarette lighter charger well, it has two usbs right there that's for my lights a bunch of other random stuff my amp behind my seats my two other speakers and let's show you guys the rear so yes the underglow wraps all the way around obviously i did add that sticker because you know it's kind of cool did add the air tech license plate cover and the rear lip. So I actually have this rear lip painted when we did the paint on the car. So I've had this painted lip sitting in my garage for over a year now. It's finally decided to throw it on the car. So that's that. Other than that, I got new corner markers because mine did break. Yes, this fender did crack even more, yes. New fender's probably gonna be in the making because pretty messed up as you guys can see. So this is basically how the Miata sits now. Comment down below what you guys like better. Do you guys like the bagged, cambered out look? Or do you guys like the track stance that I had before? Other than that, that's gonna basically wrap up this video, clip, whatever it may be. So hopefully my boy Jacob is watching this video. He will shoot a complete reveal video of the vehicle. All said and done. And uh, the other couple other pieces that I do not, that I do have, but if you guys not, okay. So I was interrupted while also having a speech impediment at some, for some, reason i was having some speech impediment and my mom called but anyways back to what i was saying so there's a bunch of other parts that i did not tell you guys that i have for the car that still need to get prepped and finished and then installed in the vehicle so hopefully when that's all said and done jacob will be filming an actual 4k video reveal video of the miata so i'm just gonna do one quick 360 walk around of the car real quick before we end it i always get a full view i don't know man i'm kind of I'm not gonna lie, I, I did hate a little bit on the whole camera thing because I wasn't kind of the type of guy, you know, was into that camera and stuff, but 
this thing looking kind of sick i'm gonna get some photos after this but yeah let me know what you guys think about the the new stance comment down below obviously drop a like leave a comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video